So actually that's really interesting. The very last chapter of the book talks all about culture. And it, it talks about a capability model where how do you go into an organization or if you're your own organization, how do you assess that culture and what drives culture? So at the top, we, we, we have a, a pyramid and at the top of the pyramid is trust. And trust relies on everything below the pyramid. So down near the bottom of the pyramid are, are things like good communications. So good communications is something that we can be responsible for ourselves. We can be responsible for our own communication and we can improve that. Uh, decision making rests above communication. So we can be responsible for some of our decisions or for part of our decisions, but we have less overall accountability and control over decisions that are within our sphere. And, and each time you go up that pyramid, things become less and less in your control and more and more in the organizational organization's control overall. And when you get to the top, you're talking about culture. So we talk about how do you address those issues of culture and that's very, very important when the whole book is talking about leadership. I mean, that's what we're talking about. You have to have really strong leadership in order to be successful in, in this field. Well, the only way you're going to have strong leadership is if you have a culture that rewards people who make really difficult and sometimes unpopular decisions. But that's what good leaders do. And so uh, I talk about culture and, and how we address culture. In, in one chapter. I mean, people have spent a lifetime uh, addressing this with books and books and books. So I don't pretend to, to have that element of knowledge, but it is a very important component to the win big philosophy.